Howdy friends, welcome to another action-packed episode of the Blues Heart Biker. Howdy friends, welcome to the Blues Heart Biker channel. All right, I'm John, the Blues Heart Biker. Thank you for tuning in. If you're here for the first time, glad to meet you. And if you are tuning in for multiple times and you're a regular watcher, glad you're back. All right, thanks a lot for supporting the channel. Hey, um, today I got another Amazon package. And we're going to give the cheap LED lights a, another chance. Um, last time I bought them, they sent me some crazy ones that were wrong. Um, so I sent them back and I ordered another pair. And I got these specifically for a night train. So um, let's see what happens. I bought these. Like again, I'm going to do a review on these things too. I bought them. I did not get them for free. We'll do a, a, an honest review of them. I'll put them in right now. I'll show you guys how to put them in. It's simple as cake um, from what I understand. And uh, if you wondered about doing LED turn signals on your motorcycle, well, hopefully I'll answer all your questions about it. So let's go on out to the shop here and uh, check it out. Get the old night train going here um, and get these things on it and see what happens. All right, I'm feeling pretty good after my total hip replacement surgery. Um, you know, um, Monday will be eight weeks. So, and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still a little stiff and a little sore. You know, um, but I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm getting to where I'm going to want to ride my bike pretty soon. So I'm, I'm probably overcautious, and a lot of people are probably going to say, oh, you're overcautious. And I probably am, all right? But uh, I'd rather be overcautious on this particular deal than to, uh, you know, take a chance of screwing up my hip. So let's go in. Let's go in the shop. Let's put these things in and see what they're all about and see if they work for me. All right, let's go. Okay, well here it is again. Don't expect fancy packaging. Um, this is how the other ones came too, in this plain brown box. So I've got to get a, a blade and open that up here. Okay, well there's the lenses. Okay. Oh, we got some of those. Okay, now this is cool. This came with these. These um these are um go in your line here that prevent hyper flashing. I forget what these things are called. I don't know, resistors or something. I don't remember what they're called, but they um you put these in, you plug these in, and they uh, they present they prevent hyper flashing, which makes it means the lights flash on and off real fast. Sometimes on older bikes, um, the uh, LEDs will hyper flash, and they'll flash real fast, and it kind of you kind of can't see it from a distance when you're when you're turning your turn signal on at night. But this is cool. The other ones didn't come with this, but these come with these, so. Cool, cool. I don't know. I'm going to try without them first and see what happens. But, uh, that's cool. All right. Well, that's a good plus. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Well, first thing you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver, okay? And uh, let's get a look at this here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't want to dump everything out here. Okay, here's one. Okay, that's the back one, so why don't we start with the back lights? Okay, so on these particular things here, and you've probably done this before, but um, 
you'll find, keep turning this globe here, you'll find there's a little slot right there. And uh, put a, just, you just put a screwdriver in there, flat screwdriver in there, push down on it, and then kind of twist it a little bit. And, oh, there it goes. Comes right out of there. And there's your light bulb right there. And that comes out real easy, of course you know. Press it in, turn it to the left, and it pops right out. And same way when you put it back in, you put it back in, turn it to the right. To the left, pops right out. Okay, so let's go ahead and put an LED in there and see what happens. All right, so here's what it looks like. You can see there's all kinds of little tiny LED bulbs there. And there's a circuit board on the back. And on Harleys, especially Harleys, um, the back lights have only one electrode on the on the light like that. Okay, you see that? So that's how you know the difference between rear and front. So let's try to put this thing in right now and see if it goes in. And you just press it in there, give it a turn. Theoretically, it's supposed to do that, but for some reason it's decided to be ornery. And what might help, getting a pair of needle nose pliers. Because that's the problem I had with the other ones. I couldn't get them to go into the front. Come on, you. There it goes. Put it in there. And then you. Okay, it felt like it turned in there. Then you pop that thing in there, like that. And then you put the globe over the top of it. Okay, let's just turn it on and see what happens. There. It's hyper flashing a little, I think, is it? Yeah, but that's not too bad. I could live with that. All right. Let's put the globe on it. <clears throat> that globe popped in there like that. And uh, let's turn it on and see how it looks. Whoops. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. There it goes. Yeah, we are hyper flashing a little bit, but that's not too bad. All right. Well, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's do the other ones. Okay, we're going to go the same way with this one. Okay, we'll do the same thing with this one. Find a little slot which is right up on top on this one again give it a little twist and pop pop it right out twist the bulb out there it is okay so here it is again with the single okay let's see here now we gotta use the use the needle nose to push that in just like that and give it a turn and there it is all right uh, get the black globe out here smoked colored globe put that in here like that and then this thing just that just goes in there and this just pops in like that and there it is and we have got tail lights or rear turn signals. There it is. There we go. How about that? All right. All right. Well, let's roll to the front now. Front, same thing, you know. Okay, okay. Here we go now, we just pop that thing out of there like that. Boom, that fell right out of there. Give it a turn to the left, pop it out of there. Now you see, 
here's the difference. There's two connectors on the front ones, and that's because these double as running lights. So you've got two different bulbs here, or two different filaments on this bulb. One stays on all the time, and then the other one um, flashes. So, all right, well, let's... Uh, Let's pop them in there. And do you remember? They go right in there and they twist to the right. And uh, it may not go on its own, so you may have to take a pair of needle nose and push it in just like that. And uh, it's going to fit right up there like that. And let's see. Let's turn it on and see. See there, see there's a running light. Okay, and then let's do the turn signal. Oh yeah. Okay. We got here, that thing goes in there. And then this thing goes on over it. Man, let's see it. Uh, come on on there. Eat. You just got to kind of push on it, and it'll go. There it is. Whew, looks good. Look at that. For some reason. And there you have it. This dark globes look great on there. I got to get the, do the same thing to that. I got to do the same thing to that. Wow, they look really good. Oh yeah, they look really good. I gotta do the same thing to that tail light. Wow. Yeah, I need a license plate frame too. Wow. They look especially good up front because they get real dark. I don't know, the, the, the fender accents these things. Wow, man, they look great. Let's turn them on, try them on. See, look at there. Yeah, there you go. Little running lights there. I got to get an LED for the headlight because it's a, this thing's a different color. It's a lot yellower. Turn signals. On there. Turn signals on here. All right. And then turn signal here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, good. Oh, they look good. Well, $33, $34.95 shipped from Amazon. Uh, it took me a day and a half to get them. Um, pretty good. Pretty good, yep. Uh-oh, there it goes. There it goes, looking good, looking good. All right. All right. Well, there you go. If you want some some cool um, LEDs that are cheap, I think they're okay now. You know, I mean, I haven't used them for very long, but uh, and I, I don't I don't think they're as bright maybe as some of the better ones are, but uh, but they're okay. And if you just want to, you know, put something on your bike. Uh, looks good. Um, I think they're cool. I think they're all right. $30, $35, you know. But, uh, God, the globes look wonderful. They just make the whole thing look good. I gotta get that tail light, though. Gotta get the, get a black, black one for that. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. 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 Cool, man. Awesome. Well, that's awesome. Well, okay. Uh, I don't know what to think. You know, they work pretty good. Um, I don't know if they're any brighter than the other things that I had on there. They look great. Uh, and they're only $35. Now, $35, do these light up more than just a colored bulb would light up in there? I don't know. Do they 
light as bright as some of the other ones like the custom dynamics or some of the other ones that are out there that are more expensive um i don't know <laughs> i don't have anything to compare them to probably not um i'm not super impressed by how bright they are but um I'll look at them at night and see what happens and uh but they're not bad i mean they're okay they're, you know for thir they're 35 dollar set you know, with the 35 dollars you get the whole setup with the um smoky globes so if you just want to throw something cheap on your bike some cheap leds they kind of look good eh, go for it you know but uh it's one of these things here where i just didn't want to spend 300 bucks on lights for this bike you know i'm, I'm starting to get to a point now to where i want to start lightening up on the cost of certain things and that is one of them um but they look great you know you, as you can see uh, they make the bike look wonderful i gotta get black for that of course i said that again but they just look wonderful and uh you know and they work pretty good you know you pop, pop that on oops wrong way there you go see i gotta get an led for the headlight now but the money i saved on this stuff <laughs> I'll be able to buy the stuff that I need. Right? There you go. There you go. Cool. All right, well, that's going to wrap up today's episode. A little shorty today. My answer on the review is I give it a um, about... Three, three stars out of five. How about that? Um, man, I would give them more or less if I had something to compare them to. But uh, I think they're okay. For $35, go for it. Um, so, great. Uh, can't wait to start riding again. Um, got some other stuff coming up. Finally going to start getting away from the night train project here pretty soon. Um, uh, next couple of videos I think I probably might be ready to ride again pretty soon hopefully you know I'm supposed to wait another three and a half weeks here um, but let's see what happens okay so anyways thanks for tuning in if you guys like what you see go back and check out some of my other videos I've got 175 or 80 or I don't know I got a bunch of other videos back there uh, if you take a look just uh, search in for the blues heart biker and tons of stuff will come up uh also um if you would be so kind to smash that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and also hit that little bell now what's going to happen there is that thumbs up is going to let youtube know that you like what i'm doing it's going to let me know that you like what i'm doing it's going to let me know that you're cool and it makes me happy hit that little bell the bell is going to let you know whenever i upload new videos every tuesday every saturday 9 a.m pacific time and uh subscribing just solidifies that you're an ultra cool person so there you go all right then well uh with all of that the commercials are done bike looks good things are looking up we'll talk to you guys soon uh, we'll see you at the next video until then take care of each other and be cool be careful and we'll see you again at the next episode of the blues heart biker thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate everybody